Unfortunately, out of all the shows being greenlit, Infinity Train still has yet to be called up. But since there is some time before this show is greenlit, there is time to overanalyze this one clip shown on Cartoon Network's YouTube channel. And the one thing that caught my eye is definitely the robot with blue flames and a white mask who is credited as the steward. So who or what is this robot? I'm Jay and welcome to Thing Theory where I put my tinfoil hat on and dig deep just to overanalyze things. <laughs> Before we start, if you guys haven't watched Infinity Train yet, I highly recommend you do. It's about a girl who is trapped in a mysterious train with various carts filled with puzzles. Now back to the theory. The only dialogue said by this robot is Return to your seat. This reveals the fact that the robot is indeed a steward, hence what it is credited as the steward. So let's predict back to where everything started. Let's just say that Tulip decided to take the train home, but this wasn't no regular train. This was a special train. We'll get more into that maybe in another episode. So Tulip sits down and she waits until her stop approaches. And maybe the steward isn't revealed and is only heard through a speaker. After a while, perhaps Tulip falls asleep and she awakes to her being alone in a train cart with a glowing number on her hand. This leads to her proceeding to another train cart to find answers, but she is met with a puzzle. She of course solves it and after a few puzzles, one one comes in like some sort of tutorial buddy. There's more in between and then we finally get to the actual clip that is showed. So now what does the steward have to do with this? Perhaps it is one who is responsible of taking care of the passengers, which we are indeed notified that there are more passengers here, hinted in Corgenia. We just get very excited when someone new comes through the door. Or is definitely responsible for the glowing number on Tulip's hand, kind of like a stamp. Now in a scene, the steward is seen attacking Atticus. But when the steward sees Tulip, it yells return to your seat. Then it looked like it was about to drag her back to her seat, but then when the steward sees 1-1, they retreat back to the hole. This could imply that the steward is part of something big, and 1-1 is something not to be messed with. But as we move forward to the show, the steward also seems to be searching something in the water pipe. Because if the steward is really trying to fix that pipe, they would have just hit the lever like King Atticus did, but it didn't. So what is this steward searching for? Well, considering it ran away from 1-1, could it be that the steward was searching for 1-1, but supposedly 1-1 was supposed to be inactive, and so when the steward saw 1-1, it might have left to inform the rest of the group that 1-1 is indeed here. This theory doesn't really stand tall at all, but it's a quick thought of what could happen. The steward is a robot who takes care of things in the train that could possibly be more than just a train. 1-1 is perhaps something greater than the steward and whatever else is controlling the train. So in the end, the steward must be the antagonist and probably is part of the whole situation with the train. Maybe the leader, maybe a soldier, or maybe just a caretaker. Whatever it is, we still need more of this show to figure out who it is. One One and the Steward are really unique characters and also very mysterious, but those two may be closer than you think. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch Infinity Train if you haven't. In that case as well, you probably spoiled yourself, but whatever. If you want to support the channel, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Give me your thoughts, your theories, and your predictions for Infinity, in for Infinity Train. Other than that, you guys have been a lovely audience. My name is Jay, and I'll see you guys in another day.